Like and subscribe as greetings, love and respect from your device on the Noah One Connection Entertainment. Big up all of my loyal supporters who stay tuned to the channel, all the respect and love on the know the thing go. And all who not subscribe yet, do it now and click the notification bell to get the latest uploads at all time. Now people breaking news just in, George Nooks arrested again and cocaine charges stemming from 2017 case. Trust me, when you really need to stay around, for hear what go on. Yeah, go share the article with you now. Remember, like the video, share the video, subscribe, support the movement. One connection or no connection. Controversial reggae star George Nooks is once more before the courts battling charges of possession of cocaine and perverting the course of justice. The entertainer appeared in the parish court on Friday and pleaded not guilty to the charges. Nooks had been charged on Thursday by the narcotics police following a ruling by the Director of Public Prosecutions, DPP. He was offered bail in the sum of 300000 and is to return to court on Jan January 13, 2021. He is being represented by Christopher Thousand. He is on bail now and at home with his family, Thousand told the news. The charges stem from a May 2017 incident in which Nooks was at a plaza in the corporate area where he was allegedly found in possession of two ounces of cocaine. Nooks was found not guilty in that case of breaches of the Dangerous Drugs Act in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court in May 2019. But now he has been rearrested on the charge and slapped with an additional charge of perverting the course of justice. Thousand rubbish the claims by the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions and the police that they had been trying to get in touch with Nooks for several weeks without success. There was a ruling by the DPP in which they revealed in court that there were some issues about not being able to find Mr. Nooks, which is odd because he was in attendance at Superintendent Leon Clooney's funeral and the top brass was there. They claimed to be calling him and not getting him but they have numbers for both of his lawyers. If he were wanted at that time, he could have been arrested. Police know where he lives. Had they been more organized, this whole thing could have been avoided. This sort of thing is an offensive manipulation of the justice system by the police force, Thousand added. Superintendent Leon Clunis died on June 30th, several weeks after he added several other cops came under heavy gunfire during a special June 12th operation to apprehend an armed criminal. Thousand believed that this case is symptomatic of a larger problem in the judicial system. Police are mere statement takers who don't investigate police matters. Instead, they do their job with a view to prosecute and not to find out the truth. Judges must hold cops accountable and not allow them to slack off. It must be stopped from a police angle because the judges are referees not there to aid and abet the police. Where is the accountability? We are looking at total anarchy if this continues, Thousand Muse. George Nooks burst on the entertainment scene in the 1970s as Rastafarian DJ Prince Mohammed. His hit song for producer Joe Gibb include Tribal War as George Nooks and Farty Ledge Dread. His singing was inspired by Dennis Brown, his mentor, who he paid tribute to with a double album of covers. Brown, Regis Crown Prince, died in July 1999. After a decade-long absence from the charts, Nooks roared back in 2001 with God is Standing By, a cover of Al Green's gospel hit of the same name that hit number one on all ethnic reggae charts. He has been a popular live and recording act since that time. Now viewers, as an all ear, George Nooks has been rearrested and Sad to say, you know, but as an ear, what involved in this case? 
Yeah, and me not really know about them things there. So, leave your thoughts in the comment area. Remember, like the video, share the video, subscribe, support the movement. One connection or no connection.